I want to apologize to Mark Miller immediately because in my video this morning, I actually referred to him as Mark Millar, and that's how his name looks like it's spelled. I've called him that since I was a teenager, and uh, that's not how he pronounces his name. I've been uh, atrocious on that, and I know a lot of people on the internet have also. It is Mark Miller, even though it's spelled that way. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, I hope you forgive me, and I hope you'll come on the channel and do an interview at some point because you're one of my favorite writers. Thank you. <laughs> anyway... Um, he's been out uh, recently, and uh, of course, uh, he's been doing a lot of books that have been bought up by Netflix. I just bought the Ambassadors trade paperback. We'll be reviewing that on my comic review channel soon, which is called JDA Talks Comics. If you're not subscribed there, please go so. Uh, and he has uh, been one of the few people out there who just is like reasonable in the comic book industry. He's been on thinking, uh, he's been on, uh, the critical drinker, uh, which is a great program. And he's actually interviewed with him twice. Uh, you know, and those, that's a guy you're not supposed to associate with in toxic fandom. Right. Uh, and so he is somebody who is fans first, who actually cares about his craft, who's very, very diligent with his storytelling. And he's exactly what we want the comic industry to be. I wish there were more Mark Millers out there. Now, when he speaks, People should listen. We've dealt with a comic industry who's told us like and gaslit us over the last five years saying everything's fine. There's no problems. Even though I've gone into retail shops and they're depressed, they're like, I don't know how I'm going to afford rent this month because Marvel and DC just aren't even trying anymore. I made a video about that a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is crazy. These are big retailers uh, on the West Coast here. If those ones are failing, you know the smaller ones are struggling even worse. We're in a point where most comic shops aren't even comic shops anymore. They're Pokemon card shops or Magic the Gathering card shops that happen to have a little comic rack in the corner. <laughs> Comics are really not the cultural archetype that they used to be whatsoever. And it's because of the way that Marvel and DC have absolutely torched everything along the way in the name of diversity and inclusion. They want to turn off their audiences. They want to tell you that they hate you in order to court this audience that's not there and is not going to be interested in reading books. And then when they lose their sales and their sales are terrible, they say, it's the best it's ever been. Well, they're lying. And Mark Miller confirms it. So Mark Miller claims comic book industry is in the worst state it's ever been. Suggests the comic book legends return to DC and Marvel in order to save it. Jeez. Or just like hire some people like myself and Eric July, Ethan Van Skyver to run these things because we know what we know what people want. Uh, that's all you got to do at this point. A lot of these legends are retired. But, you know, Chuck Dixon could come back. He'd do good. All right. Comic book writer Mark Millar, known for his super Miller. And over his Superman, Red Sun, Civil War, Wanted, and Kingsman stories recently posited that the comic industry is in the worst state it's ever been, proceeded on his own idea on how to save it. This is during his appearance on Thinking Critical, as I mentioned. And he confirmed his previously announced return to DC for a Superman story, then segued into posting his idea that at least 20 comic book legends should return to both Marvel and DC to do a minimum two-year runs to save the comic book industry. He said... There's something weird going on right now. I feel like the guys like me, the guys who've worked in the industry for a while and have been very lucky, had a lot of big books and everything. We've got to man the stations. I think everyone's got to come in and do a couple of projects, find an artist who's as good as you possibly can, just get some killer runs done on something. I totally agree. Um, and of course, it's very exciting when he comes back to do something like a Superman story. Uh, but uh, for the most part, a lot of these legends are forced out, and it's for a few reasons. One... Uh, it's a it's an industry of nepotism at the end of the day. These people bring in their friends who bring in their friends. And it, at some point, uh, they just don't go back to the legends uh, who want to uh, do these uh, books. And a lot of these people still want to write uh, and they're still very interested in storytelling. They're just not really given the shot. And they're not really uh, involved in things. And part of it is that a lot of the legends are not very happy with how Marvel and DC have treated them financially. So they really don't want to come back and do the work either. So you've got a, a double problem on both sides at this point. But I agree. I mean, if some of these people came back, if Chuck Sixon came back, if Mike Barron came back, uh, if Ethan Van Skyver was doing a project for DC, you'd see sales increase. Uh, but it, it goes the other way too. If, if these people reached out to folk like us, uh, you know, I've, I've always talked about uh, Star Trek and my Star Trek fandom here. If Heather Antos actually reached out to me and was like, hey, why don't you work on something that does honor to these original series that people love? You'd actually find that brand doing a lot better than it is these days. Also, if Eric July would be reached out to to like write Batman or something like that, or at least consult or edit, who knows, uh, bring in a team. He's doing a very good job uh, with his uh, Ripperverse as it is. We might do a lot better on that front. You might see these brands actually thrive instead of dying in comic shops. Fans are excited for what's going on in this corner of the internet. Every time we come out with something new, people are stoked about it. People love to talk about it. There's a, there's just a happiness. There's a community where people feel involved. And 
it's the opposite in the comic book industry. It's like a gatekeeping central where it's like, I am the few people who are in charge and you better bow to me or else you are going to be blacklisted. And people live in fear on that level. Geez, I remember when Jawbreaker's Lost Souls was coming out and there was a kid, his name's Dylan, uh, who's not a kid anymore, but he runs his own YouTube channel now. He actually went into a comic book store and asked if they were going to be carrying Jawbreaker's Lost Souls, which was selling thousands of units on Indiegogo. The comic book shop owner, who's part of that mainstream industry, uh, said, you know, you are no longer welcome in this shop and banned him from buying comics. Banned a customer because they wanted to buy a comic. And that's that's how gatekeepy these people are. Well, that shop's out of business now. I had the same uh, event very similarly lately. I was buying the Andrew Tate comic book online and mentioned I was doing so in a comic book group. And of course, I got banned from that comic book group just for mentioning that I was buying a comic book. This is how these people act. They're so fearful. They're so enraged all the time. They hate their fellow comic fans, whether it's for politics, for religion, just because of like perceived things. Uh, they can't actually come together and just be friendly. And honestly, they can't even do so even if they wanted to, because I get pros who message me all the time. Lots of people message me. And if they were mentioning that they were talking to me or if they were coming on my show to talk with me about comics, they'd get blacklisted. People would hate them. They'd get so much hate from internal on the industry, they can't risk doing it. This needs to change. It needs to stop. And we need to not have the comic book industry be one of fear, but we would need to have it be one of creativity and fun again. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.